All right, tour dates for April. You will bottoms. I'm coming to Sacramento on the 21st for that whole weekend through the 23rd, I believe. And then on the 27th and 28th, I am in Nashville. One of those shows is already sold out. And then I'm in Atlanta on the 29th and the 30th. And one of those has like 10 tickets left. The other um, is almost sold out as well. So go get on it. And then later on, I've got some huge shows in Denver, San Francisco, Raleigh, tons of shows. Um, and then today, my friend Andrea Jin, a friend of Brianne Williamson, the great Brianne Williamson, Lil Bottom. So you know this episode is fantastic. She is so funny. I just got to see her stand-up comedy. I absolutely loved it. And she is awesome on this episode. She talks about a really funny story that happened at the McDonald's on Delancey and Essex. If you're a New Yorker, you know it's funny to begin with because that McDonald's is a wild, wild time. And we get into her exploring her queerness for the first time. She's very open and vulnerable. It's a great episode. I really think you're going to like it. And then no ads on this episode. So patreon.com slash WHGS. Um, it is by, it's a landslide uh, how much the Patreon supports this podcast. Um, we really don't need ads at all. We just need you on the Patreon. So go check it out. And then you can listen without ads and you get comps and bonus content, all kinds of stuff like that. Patreon.com slash WHGS. I think being from China makes me so repressed. But compared to everyone else in my community, I'm extremely open and not repressed. Recently, I saw one of my friends from university and like usually with them, I, I hold back a bit more. But we were drunk at McDonald's and I went in the bathroom. There was nothing like no paper, nothing. I came out and then I, I told him I was like, I, there was nothing in there. And there was kind of a buildup. And as a comedian, I couldn't resist, you know. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I washed my in the sink. <laughs> We oh yeah, by the way, Andrea, we have a theme song that we 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 um we we grossly Yeah, we grossly appropriate jazz. As white people, and we just go scoop it up, bop, 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 gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly really... what I thought it was. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're an award winning podcast. <laughs> I guess we're not technically award, like a list, but a good list. Whatever. That counts. We're in the apartment, we're having gay sex. <laughs> we are. I'm a little loop de doop doopy. <laughs> I didn't sleep well. Oh, no way. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't sleep well? Was it another 4 a.m. F- fest? It was the opposite of a f- fest. What? My cat. So one of my cats. <laughs> <laughs> my, one of my cats is like a little bitch. Okay. And has like allergies, food allergies. And because of the supply chain issues, it's sometimes hard <laughs> to get his food. Yeah. And he rejected the backup food that I got for him. Fletcher. Yeah. Because mm. he's a little bitch. <laughs> So he threw up or something? No, or? he he yodels. He just yowls. Are you serious? That when he's hungry, yeah. Oh. So I am tired. So that was just all night. Yeah, Aww. it was a lot of it. Oh. And then also just like my anxiety about caring for my son, my yeah. <laughs> my special son, my special <laughs> needs cat. <laughs> Am I canceled? Uh, no, he, well, he does. He has well, special needs. Yeah, 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 he has allergies. You know, something yeah. I learned about that term lately is it has fallen out of favor because the argument is that people don't have special na- needs. Everyone has the same basic needs. It just requires a systemic change to get there. Okay, well, my cat has <laughs> special needs. <laughs> <laughs> Your cat is requiring the supply chain to get yeah. its shit in yeah. order. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that sounds really special. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He insists. <laughs> so, and then you have stress. You're up, like, thinking, like, yeah. how am I going to get the- I leave right. for tour. So what I'm going this- to f***ing... Oh, wait, this won't matter. I'm going to f***ing Sacramento. <laughs> Let me do one more. I'm going to f***ing Nashville and Atlanta. <laughs> Whatever week this comes out. <laughs> so okay. I'm worried about the food for what him. What food? does he yeah need? what's the and ingredient what do you know the ingredient it's that farmina he... and he prefers the seafood the lamb he won't wait so he can't yeah. just eat like tuna out of a can he can but it won't give him the vitamins the vitamins they need right. the organs yeah yeah the yeah. organs yeah they need 
you know they like do to need organ meats and stuff i have a dog so it's yeah. like similar situation mm -hmm. uh i give her like raw meat pucks from like <gasps> the freezer so i understand Whoa. what you go through <laughs> where I, i'm worried about her all the time i'm yeah. i'm moving here and i'm thinking like how am i gonna get these similar meat pucks like oh, they're yeah. frozen meat puck is a great band <laughs> have you heard of them oh my god the mosh pits at meat puck concerts are oh you know what oh, no, no, no. i'm confusing them with meat cuck that's the <laughs> Like. <laughs> meat cook is how i feel when i go to like a restaurant with great bacon and i can smell it oh because i'm a vegetarian are you vegetarian oh, okay i was like you guys are cooking me right now it's a meat cook yeah oh meat cook we should do merch with that yeah i can see it i can see lettering yeah i can see it what about a brand of strap-ons called meat cook <laughs> And I they just that. look like a slab of steak. <laughs> <laughs> or like a hot dog. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. It is. Ew. I grossed myself out really quickly. <laughs> I was like, great idea. Actually, I'm gagging a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately grossed out by what you just said. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I feel like that's so much of being a comedian is you think of something oh, funny, yeah. you say it out loud, and you're immediately repulsed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, it's like, oh, that's actually disgusting. Yeah. Why did I say like, that? Or you're like, what is wrong with yeah. me? Yeah. Why did it pop in my head? And then yeah. the audience laughs, and you're like, what is wrong with you? I know. <laughs> what I said was foul. Yeah, you should hate me right now. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but you're, I'm so glad that you're here. You're a friend of Brianne Williamson. Yeah. Who is a friend of the pod. We have to have her back. Mm -hmm. I miss Brienne. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to text her last week and I forgot. Damn. Sorry, Brienne. I know you're not listening. <laughs> Bree, my good friend, my closest friend. She's Bree. great. Isn't she wonderful? Yeah. But you're from Vancouver. You're an incredible comedian. You won you. my heart and my mind. Because oh. Bree was like, you have to have Andrea on the show. I did not watch Andrea's tape. I never do this you know me i hate everybody <laughs> <laughs> i know you were so trusting like right away after the comment and then you messaged me to uh be on your show and i was like that night and i was like oh wow you yeah. know well i love brie and it yeah. would have been brie's fault if you fucked up <laughs> so it's not on me i would have blamed brie and you were wonderful you've done just for laughs you're moving from vancouver to here we're in the nice. apartment we're having gay sex we're having gay sex with andrea Jin today Hello. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, we do have the soundboard. Applause. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I reacted um, as if. <laughs> what, are, what are you working on? What are you up to? Where people? Where can people find your stuff? Yeah. I mean, I'm on... Oh, I should be on more stuff, I think. But I'm on Instagram. I have a website, I guess. <laughs> and I have a website. There's so a you're on the internet. Yeah, I'm online. <laughs> I have heard of it. Yeah, I've heard of it. You're on Al Gore's interweb. <laughs> uh, my manager is very upset that I should be more online. Mm. Uh, but uh, I'm on. Yeah, I have a website. I should have a list. I, I saw you posted the email list. Thing. Yeah, yeah, it's smart because, you know, people get shut down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And like people, their Instagram get hot oh, hacked yeah. or stuff yeah. like that. So, um, yeah, I should. Uh, I should. Get I live that. in fear every day. Yeah. <laughs> I have a very you, cause you're from China originally and I have mm. a very interesting relationship with the Chinese government. Right. <laughs> Cuz of TikTok, right? Cuz of TikTok and the also panda my sex? panda porn. Panda porn. And, oh. And yes, and also I worked for the American government on national security projects. You so, did. Wait, yeah. you did? Yeah. What? I thought you just worked like at MIT. Yes, it, it's an MIT you national did? security research lab. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Now, <laughs> just to be clear, <laughs> Just to be clear, I did not work on weapons or surveillance. Okay, okay. I worked on <laughs> biological defense. We would send, for example, remember- Oh, the, the chips they put in vaccines. Yes. Mm, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We turn people we turn people into robots. <laughs> <laughs> but what we tell people we work on is, do you, do you guys remember like when the Fukushima, I, I'm going to have to look that up and make sure I'm saying that right. I think but it's the power, Fukushima. Yeah, in yeah. the power plant in Japan yeah. got hit by the Oh, with the, the tsunami. tsunami mm -hmm. And it, there was that nuclear disaster. Yeah. yeah. When a robot goes into that situation, that was the type of projects that I worked oh, on. Oh, wow. I see. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm like a fucking genius. I know. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, but the panda porn is how you got banned from TikTok, right? Yes. Wait, you uploaded panda porn? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Just straight up. <laughs> there is, what, you told me this. I recently saw a baby panda and it made me think of this. It was the, the that pandas don't want to mate 
in captivity. Is it is it racist that we're talking about pandas? Right? Are we have our first what? ever Chinese <laughs> national guest? You said that the Chinese government banned you from TikTok, and I'm trying to clarify about why. No, that no, it was no. the panda porn, and TikTok, not that you were a national security. Until agent. this moment, until this podcast comes out, I have not been banned by the Chinese government. <laughs> Once this is released, oh my probably, God. right? We all will now. <laughs> I know. Every time you joke and say that you're on some list somewhere, I'm like, haha. But then you know that you're working in national defense. I'm like, you yes. are. You're being monitored I for a, life. No, I'm not. <laughs> Here's what you learn from working for national security. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. Everyone's no? <laughs> no. You're giving away secrets right now. I, I have a clearance. I have a clearance. I wow. have secrets. I'll say them right now. <laughs> <laughs> there, there. What's that little red dot on your head? <laughs> oh. Oh, That's a projection. There's Joe That's Biden a, right out there. <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden. Biden. Joe Biden's going to snipe me from a room. <laughs> The whole Sleepy Joe thing is just an act. He's actually, yeah. <laughs> He's actually a sniper. He's like, sorry, I can't pass anything meaningful. It's because I'm individually taking out <laughs> comedians who dare to spill the truth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. No, nah, no one knows anything. If there's anyone to be afraid of, it's Google. Oh. And yeah, TikTok. I heard that. I heard that Apple employees are uh, trying to unionize, and in order to hide from Apple, they're using Android right. or Android phones to communicate with each other. Yeah, honestly, like, that's not. This is stupid. What's well, how far in are we? Alex? Yeah, what are we doing? This is actually a topical podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we, it is actually Joe Rogan. We've become I Joe Rogan. Rogan. I unzip my. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we are gonna need you here until seven thirty, maybe maybe nine. <laughs> um, <laughs> give me like a cigarette. Or so, or what do they do? They do cigars or yeah, something. Yeah, they they smoke. Yeah, they don't yeah, smoke yeah. a joint or they'll smoke yeah, yeah. cigars. Give me, give me some weed. <laughs> What's the gay sex equivalent of that? Like, what do we do on some our essential pod? oils? Yeah, uh, we just start burning sage. <laughs> Cat allergies. <laughs> I'm really glad to have you. Go. Oh wait, yeah, we interrupted you when you were telling us where you are, including <sighs> online. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm on. In, I'm on the webs. I'm on websites. <laughs> <laughs> If you Google me, I'm on there, I think. And <laughs> Remember that tennis star? Was it that tennis star from China that they like made come out and give a statement like, I'm fine. That's what you sound like right now. It's it's like I'm on the I'm on the web. Honestly, like I think being from China makes me so repressed you know yeah like but as a as a as like a first generation Chinese person compared to everyone else in my community, I'm extremely open and not repressed but oh, compared to like the rest of north americans like normal north americans i'm v extremely oppressed yeah or not oppressed repressed repressed in what ways every way like i think like well in terms of like my sexuality yeah. um i i've never been comfortable even i think to now you know a lot of that comes from my family and stuff mm -hmm. okay it's it's very serious now but like no, it's no, no. fine we love, this, yeah, we love yeah. The ups and downs is what we're all about <laughs> yeah. we'll interrupt it with a penis joke yeah soon. we were talking about meat cocks before meat. <laughs> tell me how did the chinese government cuck your meat <laughs> fuck <laughs> so so you, you you feel like sexuality wise you've had a hard time uh... yeah for sure definitely and but like in terms of every facet too like mental health there's no therapy like yeah. in the culture right mm -hmm. so like here but but immigrants here like we don't accept it either with therapy and stuff like that a lot of the, a lot of them reject therapy because it's like it's stigmatized as something only for for the unwell yeah. like mentally like unstable or something like that only for people that so gay people <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what they say <laughs> what are you gay or something <laughs> that sounds gay, gay sex is only for crazies and mental health is only for gays <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah that's a good like little bored of, yeah when did you um, uh when did you move to vancouver when i was 10 i was raised by like my family and then like i i also grew up in a very like very asian community like yeah uh high school was like all asian immigrants like um so we were all just like i don't know like repressed rep very repressed and i didn't realize that until like I, I hung out with old friends from school and how much 
more open I am, like just in conversation I with them. I wonder if just like because comedy is like just the opposite of repression. Yes. Yeah. It is just full blown walking up to every line that you can possibly think of and playing with it and going past it and then yeah. being like, okay, that's too far. I'm going to come back from that. <laughs> Saying you know things I mean? and disgusting yourself. Yeah. A hundred percent. Like, yeah, it forces me to be more open. And then like, I'll see my old friends and they'll say something like kind of wild. And then I can see their face just like, that's not my world you know that's not my world what's a meat cup (laughs) i said i said recently i saw one of my uh friends from university and like i was drunk though as a context um usually with them i i hold back a bit more and i only unleash on stage i guess um but with him i was like we were drunk at mcdonald's and i went in the bathroom (laughs) And then great start to any story. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting because no matter what you say, I'm going to be like, "Yep, that that's sensible behavior in that situation." <laughs> Anything goes. That's where it all ends up. <laughs> and then I went to the bathroom. There was nothing, like no paper, nothing. Yeah. And then I had to like, uh, you know, I I came out and then I I told him I was like, I, there was nothing in there, and he was like, "Oh, whoa," and I was like, "Yeah, I had to do what I had to do," and it, there was this kind of. <laughs> Like a war vet. You gotta do what you gotta do in there. Yeah. You know who you are when you make tough decisions and keep on living. Yeah. And and there was kind of a build up and as a comedian I couldn't resist, you know? Like I there was kind of a build up and so I was like just there was silence after that and I was like, Yeah, I washed my pussy in the sink. I had to wash my pussy in the thing. I said that. Yeah. And he was like, his face, like literally, like, <laughs> like being hit by a bullet, you know? Like just think. <laughs> so it was. The thing is, that's the correct thing to do. Yeah. What else do you do in that situation? I love how you described the like tension building up and you couldn't resist. That is exactly the comedian's like, yeah. Yeah. like pitfall of getting into trouble. Where you're and like, I just can't not make a joke. <laughs> And I know I knew that was the wrong thing because of the world he's in, yeah. you know, and I was like, he's not ready for this. Like, right. Like as I was making eye contact, but then I had to because I was drunk at McDonald's and uh, as a comedian, <laughs> I was like, uh, push the pussy in the sink. And then he he was like, <laughs> just like it hit him. And then, and I was like, I'm so sorry. Immediately apologizing. I'm like, I'm so sorry. And he's like, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. (laughs) And it'd be just, yeah. But he's repressed. So. (laughs) But the thing is, I don't think I have normal friends left. Yeah. (laughs) I think all my friends would have fully appreciated a pussy in the sink moment. It was funny. I think I have. Of course. (laughs) I think I have different friends from different aspects of life where it's it's either a go or a no go like like one time like like obviously anyone i feel like anyone i met like through any form of comedy including people who don't do comedy anymore but we like met through improv or whatever they're like funny people so they're also (laughs) driven to like make those jokes in those moments and also people who have known me my whole life yes yes it's like they know that you can say like they were weirded out by me in middle school but if they're still friends with me like they get it yeah like that's part of the deal yeah (laughs) but like i remember this is an example as as like uh, when i kind of like went i i did that i couldn't resist and i said the joke and the person was like so weirded out was in high school i was with my (laughs) soccer team and we had to move the goals and you know everyone stands around it you go one two three and you lift it up and as we were lifting it up her forearm like brushed my boob and she goes have to oh, say something. sorry about that yeah. and i said no worries it's the most action i've gotten in a while which <laughs> is like the most sexual harassment joke yeah and also funny because uh no one had ever touched my boob right <laughs> i know you made a dad jo- you kind of made, made a dad joke, dad joke. that's like so what like, paul at the office it's, says it's and then like he gets was, fired right it's not like it was re- it was really funny you know i feel like anyone who's like friends with me now would have been like ha ha or like oh my god like like what i do half the time on the podcast (laughs) but she looked at me and goes ew gross and i was like oh and that feel i I like like, that all of us are like (laughs) what's her fucking problem (laughs) this bitch needs to lighten up and smile more (laughs) 
but I, I just knew that I had it was it was like the a bit of repression where it yeah. was like I don't know if it was just like the pure sexuality of the joke or if it was like the gayness of yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That might she might have wanted to deflect the gay. We've been talking for twenty years. We should probably start. <laughs> we we haven't done introductions. Oh shit. Yeah. I'm okay. Ashley Gavin. I'm a cis gay white woman. She her pronouns. I got a community guideline violation on TikTok for my link tree today. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, because it said gay sex in the not even the link, like within one of the buttons in the web page. They go that deep. Oh, they go that deep. What? So wow. please for the love of fucking God, get on my email or text list, okay? <laughs> this is all gonna fall apart at any moment. I sell five times as many tickets on TikTok because you fuckers will not sign up. <laughs> Ashleygavin.com. <laughs> Did I say she, her pronouns? Yeah. yeah. Great. <laughs> and wait, I need a sport. Did you play any sports? I did. I played many sports. I played volleyball, softball, basketball for one year. I didn't get in the next year. I wanted to play basketball more. Mm. So those three. Okay. Yes. Volleyball. Mm. I don't know if we've done volleyball. When I think of volleyball, I think of knee pads. Yeah. Yeah. Knee, Lots pads. Of knee pads. Have I done a knee pads joke I, for maybe. you? What else? So there's spiking. There's spiking. There's bandaging bandaging wrapping of uh, hands oh yeah uh water bottle a water bottle squirts <laughs> yeah you just scream <laughs> that goes across all board for yeah, all sports yeah. i think you do the thing oh you rotate the positions right yeah you rotate oh, yeah we rotate that's we cool. all have one role we play and that's it and uh could i else? do uh this one might be kind of mean oh spandex <laughs> okay. there's also spandex spandex oh yes mm -hmm. spandex okay all right and as always <laughs> The cancel coach to keep me from getting canceled, rotating those positions because he's out of breath and he's got to switch it up. He's tired. It's Kate Sisk. Hey, everybody. Uh, it's me, Kate Sisk, the cancel coach, the fat in the chat. Uh, I am a white bisexual lesbian dyke. Any pronouns, gender nonconforming, my gender of the week. This week is not from the listeners. I I am an uncle. I have a little baby. That's right. Yeah. I forgot to say that. Whoa. You're an uncle, which yeah. which is your gender identity for all of time. Yes. Even when you're a dad, you'll be an uncle. <laughs> <laughs> uncle first. Yeah. Uncle yeah. First. She was adorable. I got to meet her yeah, and what's hold her. her name? She was so tiny. I don't know. I don't oh. know about saying her name. That I don't okay. know for some reason. But um she is so 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 tiny. She had hairy ears. What? Which was so funny. Is it's, that a thing that babies have? I guess sometimes they have extra hair and then it falls out later. But so she has like like hair on the outside of her ears. Oh. And her little like her little hands and feet are so like they're so small, they're so obviously, small. but they're like so bendy. And yeah. she was like pretty much sleeping the whole time, but she like did not stop moving the entire time she was so sleeping. Cute. She was like just like moving like a little like oh. hamster in a wheel, but like dead asleep. It was it's like an alien thing. from another planet. They they yeah. they were just in on another planet three yes. days ago. Yeah. 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 Unreal. It was so it was so Congratulate you did really Thank nothing. You. I really did nothing. <laughs> But I but it's a blessing so yeah so I feel that it is worth congratulating on my very yeah, congratulations excited. congratulations thank yeah thank you thank you say it again congratulations, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> did we not do it well the first time <laughs> just joking oh okay <laughs> I just got on a little power trip there anyway congrats that's thank Congra and again congratulations congratulations stand up <sighs> <laughs> bow I guess bow. <laughs> I was just going to ask for a standing ovation, but I do like this angle on it. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> kiss it. I licked my lips. <laughs> for a nice wet hand kiss. <laughs> wow. Wow. ASMR. Very ASMR. official. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I kissed the ring. Good job. Do you mind introducing yourself? <laughs> We'll kiss your hand if you want us to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not an uncle. Uh, I don't have siblings. That's why. Okay. I guess that's oh, part of my intro. Yeah. I don't have siblings. Only child. Only right, child. Right. I, I was born under the one child policy. But oh, right. I heard your jokes about that. Thank you. Uh, and I... What am? Who am I? <laughs> I'm, my name is Andrea. Yeah. Jin. I'm bisexual. I... She, her. I, I'm she, her. <laughs> 
What else? I'm it's, Asian. Yeah. I'm an immigrant. You're nailing it. I'm a comedian. Yes. Yeah, Period. that's great. You can <laughs> shout those handles out if you want. I washed my pussy in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> I identify as having washed my pussy in the sink at McDonald's. <laughs> a week ago. Honestly, that is a very strong identity. <laughs> um, right? Uh, it's because I got too used to my bidet. And then, you know... <laughs> And then traveling now. Can you believe they don't have a bidet at the Delancey Street McDonald's? <laughs> it was that one. You went to it the, was? You wash your pussy at the Delancey Street McDonald's? You know what? Okay, <laughs> listener. This McDonald's is famous for chaos. <laughs> the Lower East Side, the opioid epidemic is out of control. And so are the teenagers. And we have uh, yet yeah, the teenagers. <laughs> to, it's to Lower East Side. Everyone's yeah. getting drunk. Everyone's going out. <laughs> yeah. It's party, party city down there. We have a huge homeless uh population that's a big problem and the delancey street mcdonald's is the, is the epicenter the epicenter of this <laughs> okay all of those things and you wash your pussy in the delancey <laughs> street honestly par for the course at the delancey street mcdonald's i'm a new yorker now <laughs> you're not a new yorker until you climbed into a a McDonald's sink Move the shit out of the way You scoop the shit out of the sink At the Delancey Street McDonald's You wash your hands You snort the line of leftover cocaine You, you kick the homeless man Who oh just woke up God. in the head And then you wash your pussy In the sink at the Delancey Street McDonald's You're a New Yorker yeah, now Yeah, yeah, I've made it, I've made it Thank you, thank you You can make it here, you can make it Congratulate anywhere. me, Kate, please. are you okay? Um, <laughs> congratulations Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna kiss your hand Thank out. You. Consent? Yes, consent. Great. Thank you. Great. I've been I've been knighted. Well then let's get <laughs> started. But I wanna wait. I wanna be clear. <laughs> yeah. I did not climb in. <laughs> you had a leg up. I did the I did here. This is what I did. No. I did Scooping? I did sink on, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hold my Make my hand into a cup. Yeah, I did splash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bird yeah. bath. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then I did blow dry with the hand dryer. You... <laughs> Dude, I have a joke about that. Uh, Just yeah. flap, flapping in the wind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The hand dryer. Hand dryer was on for I, a while. There was I, a line outside. They listened to the hand dryer <laughs> go on for a while because I did that. I did pussy and then I did hands. You know. So it took like, you know, five minutes. There's a lot of surface Was area there a drive. lot of, was it high power or was it kind of just a It was very please? high power. Okay, very, good. very high power. <laughs> was it fun? Uh, no, the angle was not good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're like, fuck the circumstances. The <laughs> angle was off. <laughs> oh my God. The yeah. Delancey Street McDonald's. I know. I know. Yeah. It was the day before the show and then I walked out. I saw Sour Mouse. I was like, oh, I'm doing the show here tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, so that's how the night, that's how it all ties together. So back to here. That is a very New York thing where you're like, I'm having a crazy moment and tomorrow I will be here professionally. <laughs> <laughs> I love, yeah. uh, but this, now I'm in a good mood. I miss people. Um, I'm going to get into my gay sex from this week. I've had yeah. gay sex this week. Thank you. That was Beethoven's fifth. Um, I, it's been good. I've been having, here's the thing, listener. You've been following along with a certain romantic interest that I've had. And some of you have been DMing me about this romantic interest because there's an update out of courtesy to the person that I have the romantic interest with. I am not going to discuss it <gasps> right now, but I'm going to tell a different story. This is a blast from the past because basically there was kind of sort of some red flags that I blew through. Yeah, I was I was keeping the door open with this person because I was sensitive of the red flags. Mm -hmm. But I was like, I really like them in all these other ways. Let's just see what happens. And I think recently I have encountered a number of people giving me red flags. Mm. And I've handled it really well. I'm proud of myself. Mm. Like, I'm proud of myself for avoiding them. I see. And avoiding, like, a lot of conflict and just pulling back peacefully. Right. That's not stuff that I super discuss on the podcast because I want to be respectful to these people yeah. and like their business and like what's a red flag to be me might not be to another person or maybe right. they're going through it and it's but not, generically who am speaking, I to judge a lot of growth for you a lot of growth yeah so I'm going to talk about 
a red flag that your relationship is over. Okay. 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 I was dating this girl. I started dating her my senior year of college. Okay. We had a super rocky relationship, but I didn't realize it was rocky because I didn't have a good model of love. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. (laughs) So at the end of it, we were together like three or four years. We were on again. We were off again. We were on again. We were off again. Mm -hmm. And then one time I went to Italy for work. This is when I back had my my real job (laughs) as opposed to this. I had a big girl, not a big girl job, like a real the department of defense. No, not. No, no. <laughs> I was an educator at this point. Oh, I was a yes, spy. Yes, yes, yes. They sent me to Italy. <laughs> I went to Italy and my girlfriend slash to teach not, the little girls how to code, uh, code their way into nuking yes, America. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. No, the opposite. <laughs> nuking Russia. Oh, boy. So anyway, uh, Ukraine. <laughs> so whatever's happening, war, sanctions, I don't know. <laughs> War, the, war, blah, blah, blah. Get to the this, pussy. This is going to be old. By the Ukraine might not even exist by the time this episode comes out. So oh, no. I know that's so sad. <laughs> Fucking the world, man. Um, so I go to Italy and yeah. my girlfriend slash not girlfriend goes mm. to France. Okay. And for her job. For her job. So you're yeah. both there professionally. Yes. And I said, why don't I fly to Paris? Mm. We can get an Airbnb. You know, have Make this love rom- the Eiffel Yeah, Tower. yeah. Have this romantic weekend together yeah. in Paris. Yeah. So I go, and when I tell you that I fought in the most beautiful places, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we could not get through a <laughs> fucking day. Oh, no. I was running behind her down the cobblestone streets. <laughs> click, clack, click, clack. <laughs> Just like, what's wrong? All, all I wanted to do, I'd never been. Yeah. All I wanted to do was eat bread and <laughs> see art. See art. Yeah. Walk on we the river. Fought, we fought in front of like Monet. <laughs> we fought. And then it was just like, it was just this vicious fight fuck cycle. We would do something fight amazing, fuck. amazingly romantic. We went to this restaurant. We got oysters. We started making out in an alleyway. <laughs> we went home and we fucked. Wow. And then we fought. Wow. Because like we ripped the sheets fucking. She had started having like this anxiety attack about the sheets. I was like, we'll just pay extra for the sheets. It's- she was uh, concerned about the sheets. Yeah. You know? So like it was just there's no real this is such a quick story, which is probably good because of the banter. <laughs> but if you are in a relationship where you can't hold it together in Paris, yeah. the relationship is over. Yeah. Oh. Read the red flag. Yeah, I hear you that. Know? Yeah. I I I am so glad. I almost made that mistake when I was studying abroad in Spain. My ex boyfriend. I had already moved on to to other people, to a whole ass other being in love with relationship with someone else, to more new people, uh, and he was studying abroad somewhere. I forget. And he was like, "What if we meet up in Rome?" And I like almost. I was so out of my mind at the yeah. time that I almost did it oh see i I did it i know but i think i like would have gotten pregnant like (laughs) because you can't not get pregnant in rome i would have fought in front of the coliseum gone back to the airbnb got pregnant (laughs) pregnant. it's so easy when your model of love is just like this to like get into that kind of relationship and you're like it's passionate and right. it's like no no it's unhealthy yeah oh my god yeah you've yeah. been there oh first no that's my life <laughs> because uh my i don't have a good model i identify with that for sure not a good model of love my family's insane so <laughs> mine too yeah and so yeah no totally i only look for red flags basically mm-hmm. yeah you know and that's been i still do it i'm sure but it's like at least i'm like seeing it now yes yeah you know yeah yes yeah. once you're like aware of a of yeah a behavior you can be like just that's like such a big first step i find and it's yeah. so much For easier me, to been. nip it early yeah like now that i'm at this point where i'm seeing them i'm i i don't talk a lot about jen anymore on the podcast my ex-girlfriend that was like such a healthy relationship mm. and i'm so glad i had it because now my therapist said this amazing thing to me because mm. i was like i don't know if i'll have another relationship like that again she goes in therapy we have like a meme (laughs) which i thought was the cutest thing because she's like older yeah she was like the meme is the distance from zero to one versus one to two in therapy is like huge 
zero to one is like a lifetime of work. One to two is like one to two. Yeah. And so like you think you're not now that I'm at that point where I'm like meeting these women, I'm like kind of kind of getting feelings for them. And then I see the red flag and my truly my brain has fully shifted to a point where I'm like, oh, I'm losing feelings for them because of this red flag. Yeah. And that's like so that's cool. Great. Instead of falling into Instead it. of falling into yeah. it and then going to France and fight fucking well, eating oysters, <laughs> ripping sheets, running down the street. I'm trying to think of an eat, pray, love. <laughs> <laughs> eat, pray, love, fuck, fight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pray that I can get out of this. <laughs> eat the pussy. Eat the pussy. Pray that it ends. <laughs> yeah. Right. Fall back in love. Fight. Yeah, so that's my, that's my gay that's sex. That's awesome nice. though, like that you're doing that because it's too late when you're you like too late. fall in love yeah. yeah that's too late that's way oh my god yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Listener, don't forget to support the Patreon, patreon.com slash WHGS. That's how we pay Alex. He is a full-time employee of the podcast. We could not pay him on ads alone. That's how we pay Kate. And, of course, me also. This is full-time work, so please consider going and donating. And in return for those donations, you get bonus episodes. You get comped tickets when I'm in your city. Um, you get extended, unfiltered, uncut episodes, um, weekly access to my Zoom stream of my show in New York, and lots of other stuff. Patreon.com slash WHGS. Listener, do not miss me when I'm in your city. I know you miss my TikToks and my Instagram posts, and sometimes you skip podcast episodes. I'm only in town once a year, so let me text you once a year when I'm in town, or I can email you ashleygavin.com. There's going to be 25 cities on this tour. Don't miss your city. Andrea, did you have gay sex this week? No, I did not uh, have any sex, period. <laughs> <laughs> you seem excited about that. I mean, you know, I, I feel like I've become a robot oh <laughs> okay so so i'm in a relationship yeah. oh yeah with a man mm-hmm. oh and <laughs> yes um i always get in i'm a what people call a serial monogamous me too i was for a long yeah. time yeah. yeah and uh i don't even that's not something i want even oh. like it's i just fall into it yeah you know and i think part of that is not knowing the motto of love like kind of just like chasing something that i shouldn't have you know what i mean Mm. yeah and that's where i end up but anyways sounds like you really love your boyfriend (laughs) (laughs) we've come to a point where we've become so entangled in our lives each other's lives and like to a point where it's like we'll always be in each other's lives yeah it's it's like it becomes impossible to like imagine your life without the other person but we both think that we shouldn't be in each other's Mm -hmm. lives do you know much about me, Andrea? Because, <laughs> because what a question! I, I was like, I, I Kate. Love, she was just like, Kate. She was just like, here's where I am deep in my soul. Uh, this is something I uh, am bearing to you. And you were like, do you know about me? <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna understand in a moment. Okay, okay. I can't believe you aren't predicting what's about to happen. I have a problem where um, I forcefully assert my opinions onto okay. the people that I oh, care okay, about okay, okay, very okay, much. Okay. I am not the friend, as Kate No, Kate struggles with his gender or whatever mm-hmm. and is clearly a man. <laughs> and so every episode, I tell him what a fucking idiot he is. <laughs> tough love. Yeah. So you're about to lay down some tough love. You should leave this person. <laughs> And That's I know that so we funny. barely know each other. Yeah. And I'm not judging you <laughs> because I am the queen of staying in relationships too long. You really do think your life can't go on without this other person, but it can. Here's the thing, okay? <laughs> you have a baby. He try- <laughs> He tries to leave a lot. Um, and I'm the one that's like, we know. Yeah. You know? But I, it's very complicated. It's very much like a when we're together we do you share a bank account no okay because i've shared a bank account oh you have? that's that's very intense yeah <laughs> and, I, and i'm sitting here today with a different bank account <laughs> i just let it go i honestly <laughs> I, just let it go. I just let it drift off wow <laughs> bye-bye that's... and it was worth it <laughs> and now your credit score is zero <laughs> <laughs> no i'm okay that's good that's took good. time i always think like bank accounts are forever that's what i think <laughs> I hope I can make this joke. That's the most Chinese shit I've ever heard in my entire life. It is. 
that's what I, I opened a bank account. I opened an American bank account today because I'm like slowly yeah. moving. Yeah. And I was thinking, oh man, I'm going to have to commit to this like for life, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting kind of like, like there's no going back to Vancouver. <laughs> I have a Honestly, Bank of America account. There, there might not be. I was getting stressed. I was like, oh, fuck. like I didn't even research other banks. <laughs> like I just came in here because they have a, a Canadian equivalent. So I just oh, oh there you go did yeah. that. But then I was like, what if there are better banks in America? There's no then, good. Banks. There's no good bank. I my I okay. eventually do want to join like a, a credit, credit union, union. Yeah, but I'm just not there yet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But there's no good banks. Okay, okay. So I was getting stressed because we were in it. Like she was like printing out stuff already, you know. And so I was like, "Is it too?" Late? You know, when they break okay. out the printer, you're Do in. Do you want to hear the most? This is I will say this is the most Irish depression baby shit ever. <laughs> depression being the Great Depression. My grandmother one time had found a bunch of coins uh, from moving, and she took me to a TD bank. And uh, my grandfather was not there. And she was like, I want to put the coins in the coin counter machine. Yeah. We're a member here so you don't get a cut. And they were like, no, your husband needs to be here. And she was like, he's not here. He is not well. And they were like, well, then like you have to pay a, a cut from the coin counting machine so she tried to get me to open a bank account at td bank as like a 15 year old <laughs> so that she would not have to pay five percent of her couch cushion <laughs> coins <laughs> yo that's some and it only didn't shit. happen because i was like i don't know my social security number. <laughs> <laughs> oh <sighs> Anyway. that's crazy but why it is take, crazy I, this is taking oh, wait, such so a yes turn. my my question is so you have said out loud it's not like a little like unwritten unsaid secret that you both think the relationship is bad you've like said out loud maybe we should not be together i said i, I just said it just now <laughs> for the first time <laughs> no uh no we've said this to each other where it's like i think we're people that need space from each other yeah like but then Here's the thing, like I have, re I have really, really bad like abandonment issues. Yeah, yeah, me um, too. Because of my mom. Yeah. And so it was like, uh, so with anyone, like I feel r like a lot yeah. of anxiety, yes. like where I need to hold on to them, yeah. even if it's like, that even makes, if it's horrible. That makes so much sense. I'm gonna throw this in there. You're yeah. like a very funny, attractive person. Thank you. Don't you think there's someone that won't be triggering the abandonment issues over and over again by telling you <laughs> that he wants to leave all the time. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think like we've come to a point where it's like we've said to each other, like, I think there's someone out there that could make you happier yeah. than me. And yeah. same vice versa. Yeah. It's not it's not even coming from a place of like hate. Right. right. No, of right. course. Yeah. So it's like when you're with someone for a while. It, yeah. Yeah. So so I yeah, I don't know. We'll, That's hard. We'll deal with it. I mean, I think moving will be good. Yeah. Oh, he lives in Vancouver. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys are. Gonna... <laughs> so far. you're like, it'll take out care of itself. <laughs> yeah. That's actually great. I'm really psyched for you. <laughs> I hope this episode was cathartic. That's so funny. Here's, yeah. what, here's what I'll put out there. One time I had a relationship that we would sometimes like come close to breaking up out loud but like generally speaking we didn't share that kind of like hey i think life would be better if we both just like went our separate ways so yeah. like the volatility was out loud but the like heartfeltness was unsaid and we entered into a long distance relationship and it extended the fucking thing so it can wow. also it can extend i would say i would say it's a it's a perfect time when you make the move to be like goodbye Forever. Forever. Yeah. yeah, I agree. But you know what's scary? We've decided. <laughs> okay, we, we've just, you guys made the decision for me to... Okay. I also know if I met him, I would probably be like, he's the sweetest guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. If he keeps saying that he's going to leave. Maybe yeah, not, maybe not I like, like him. just like when we fight. But anyways, yeah, yeah. Uh, but the, the point... Because when you're in a relationship for a long time with someone, like you can, you can fully be yourself right yes do you, do you find that yeah and like um yeah. and then that i feel is so precious yes to a point where like i i'm scared i know that it will happen again but it's like so hard to get to you yes. know because i'm not even myself around my family usually in relationships that's when it comes out so I especially you. moving to a new place like it just yeah. feels very like uh, meeting new people like there's no i mean that's yeah. really beautiful what you just said like getting to be yourself is so precious that like you're afraid to say goodbye to that but i, right. I think in the long run 
I've seen myself become distorted by I agree. a relationship lasting longer than it That's should have. True. You can be the Where best version of it, yourself. Right, right. Being yeah. when you're in a safer position yeah. with someone true. that's secure. You that's know, true. I don't know why we turned this episode into. <laughs> I don't know why I feel bad. <laughs> <though>. <laughs> No, no. I'm Do you want to talk about no, your I'm pussy in the to... sink more? <laughs> I'm trying to let you know that I relate to so much to what you're saying, yeah, and I yeah, understand yeah. the only how hard reason it I'm being be. so strong about it is because how you opened it. Because you opened it with like, "We want to break up." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. I did this. <laughs> I know. If you if you had opened up differently, yeah. I don't think I'd be coming on as strong. No, I think yeah, I think I'm saying what I like maybe want but like i don't know i yeah. don't know yeah it's like plus it's just like being in a relationship all the time is very tired I'm, I'm tired i kind of want you gotta break up with i want a date you know <laughs> you want a date i want a date also, like you're I about to be queer in new york yeah i know i i've never been queer anywhere except for in my mind <laughs> wait expand so like because <laughs> That's a really powerful that, thing that, that you just was said. was so huge. And I think a lot of people fe- who listen to this feel that yeah. way. Yeah. So like, because I've, like I said, I grew up in such a like repressive, like a- a- Asian community, immigrant community. Um, I've never, like, I didn't even know I could do stand up. Like I was yeah. repressed to a point where I was like in this like narrow straight line uh, until to business school, to, 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 to getting married, getting pregnant, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. You know? And so. You went to business school? Yeah, I went to business school, but I was not good. I was not. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't let you me. You were back. washing your pussy in the sink. <laughs> I was telling everyone. They were like, you're not allowed here anymore. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> um, and so, like, I was always just, like, too scared to, like, be myself. And, like, uh, but I would form these, like, really, like, very intense friendships with, like, women that mm. I, like, in my mind were in a really like not officially and then i scare them off by like being jealous and like mm. kind of you know because in my mind i'm in a relationship yes. with them and then they it's very stupid i, I, I relate to that no, so fucking hard <laughs> one time yeah. i was uh, it had happened to me enough times in a row and i didn't know why because i didn't really know that i was i wasn't aware like we were talking about that that's what i was doing <laughs> yeah. but i was in a relationship with someone and i and uh, and not a sorry i was in a friendship with someone. <laughs> <laughs> i was in a friendship like- with someone was having those feelings kind of unbeknownst to myself yeah and was like everything was going fine but because it had gone sour so many times before i was like i don't know i'm just like worried that we're gonna like grow apart and that you're gonna like become closer with other people and then that pushed her away of because course. she was like why you're, are you talking to me like you're my boyfriend like, right exactly <laughs> yeah that's i relate to that so that, hard. yeah i've done that multiple times yeah. and like wow and like small things would be so meaningful to me yeah you know and and like that was just happening but then these were all like straight girls that uh were kind of weirded off or weirded out by like my intensity i think and then i would like feel bad and then i would back off and then get into a straight like a relationship with a man for for like five years yeah you know that's what that's really like honestly the cycle of how i like do that so yeah i really want you to come here and be gay (laughs) thank you yeah i want that very exciting i want that for you i i will do that what if i killed him What if you send in <laughs> one of your robots? Yeah, send in the the <laughs> connections from. Uh... Hold on, let me just. I I gotta call Joe real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being so uh, vulnerable. Oh no, yeah. I'm, I, it's I'm glad. Thank you for letting me be. Of because course. course. I don't ever get to talk about this kind of stuff with uh, my friends who are. Yeah, you know, I'm not in the community. Like um, now you are. Thank you're you. You're gonna get so many DMs. Yeah. Because Good. people really live this yeah you know and i'm different than you guys like i have a different set of problems whenever i was like wanting to be with a woman i knew what i wanted and i and i went for it and i experienced a different set of problems (laughs) doing that as a middle schooler (laughs) um but like so i really appreciate it and of course with all of you're not knowing you're a man and everything. <laughs> I really appreciate all the different perspectives that we have on the podcast because I yeah. can't cover them all. 
You know what I mean? Right, right, right. So it's so helpful for the people at home who are like actively in love with their best friend. Yeah. It's so common. Yeah. It's really very I common. I try to hold back. Like now I see it. I see myself doing it and I like I hope I pull myself back and it feels bad. No, kiss her on know? the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Escalate things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. That's, Escalate the problem. Take her to Paris. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, that I think could be good for you. <laughs> Get an Airbnb. Yeah. <laughs> Eat rip oysters, the rip the sheets. <laughs> that was so funny. Really wonderful gay sex. Kate, did you have gay sex this week? Oh, this is a Joe yeah, Rogan podcast. Baby. <laughs> I did have gay sex this week, and I'm extremely proud of it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Amazing. I don't. I, I'm trying to get the point across on this. I had. Okay, you know how the Olympics have been on. Yes, <laughs> it's related. And okay. the and the, the figure skaters, they're judged on like degree of difficulty, right? Yes. yes. I had top tier degree of difficulty gay sex this week. Wow. That's so like funny because a- I that's how my audition was on Monday. <laughs> the triple axle. That's what I, yes, the, it was yes. the triple, I triple said, axle double lutz. Yeah. Mike, well, gay sex. Maybe, no, you're the Nathan <laughs> Chen of gay sex. That's he's the king of degree. I don't of know difficulty. if I knocked it out of the park quite like he did. But I I had top tier level of difficulty gay sex because I had gay sex the night of my colonoscopy. No, you fucking. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> not the night before. Not the night before. Wait. But here. I, I, after. After. That's insane. That is insane. <laughs> That's you were warmed insane. up from the camera, I guess. <laughs> Were you turned on? No, no. The camera's no, in your butthole. A- You're like, I can't wait to get home to Chelsea. No, I was fully out for the procedure, but there was this funny moment. I was there so early in the morning and other people, it actually wasn't that early, but it was early and other people had been there really early and already gotten their colonoscopies. And they had this little waiting room where we were like in our gowns with our lockers. I didn't know yeah. it happened like that. Like a lineup? Yes. This, the guy was doing 18 colonoscopies that day. I didn't know. I thought it was what? like w- one per day. They- yeah, what's a normal? I feel like this is when you say to your friends who don't do stand-up comedy you're like yeah i get up 10 15 times a week they're right. like and they're like what, what? <laughs> how many colonoscopies he's like, he's like i only do right in how many colonoscopies do you do a day <laughs> the other guy the other so they had it on a whiteboard it was so funny they were like do- my doctor and then they ha- were like 18 colonoscopies and then the other uh doctor they were like 14 colonoscopies and then the- there was a little thing that was like happy friday <laughs> it's, just like, it's so funny that this is so casual for them and this i know is like so traumatic for me <laughs> nothing i feel like there's nothing more formal than a butthole okay so this was extremely funny is so the- this You're other <laughs> this other woman who had just gotten her butthole probed is kind of coming off anesthesia and she's in the little waiting room with me and we're both in our little bathroom and i think she can see that i'm nervous and she's still kind of out of it and she touches me on the shoulder and she goes they are very good (laughs) this is the weirdest opening of a porn ever what the fuck (laughs) and i think she was just trying to tell me like don't be nervous they're very good at what they do but because she was all loopy it sounded like i was gonna get the best ass play of my life (laughs) (laughs) but so so i had the colonoscopy i was fine and here's where and you the are degree... well just for the listeners who've been following along with your butt stuff i don't have cancer so we've eliminated that that's yeah good. that's pretty much all we've eliminated at this point <laughs> I, I haven't got my biopsies back yet <laughs> what else could it be yeah just what... to freak everyone out could be could be um hemorrhoids uh, it's not polyps either because they would have seen that mm-hmm. could be hemorrhoids could be um endometriosis could be endo colonitis i don't, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. but there's no like tumors that's you're not you're probably not gonna die there was no tumors or polyps that they had to remove so okay. i don't think okay I'm that's die. good but i'm still experiencing like pain and stuff but anyway thank you for sending your well wishes i appreciate it uh thoughts and prayers for kate's butthole. <laughs> <laughs> all my butthole needs is thoughts and prayers and also uh uh gun laws anyway <laughs> <laughs> So the reason I say this is high degree of difficulty sex is because it's not like I got a colonoscopy and then like went on Tinder and hooked up with a rando. Okay. I got a colonoscopy. Why do you think that's easy to do? Because you don't that have to review. hard, actually. I'll tell you. Yeah. I'll tell you why. I think you're going to be raw and emotional. Because it's a new person. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Well, except this was my partner witnessed the prep for the colonoscopy. The shitting. 
the shitting no i wore a <laughs> i wore a diaper to bed because alex told me i should okay <laughs> Oh, you gave Kate some butthole with myself? <laughs> oh, that's very, that's a top-notch she, producer right there. She, she saw me at my worst just shitting yellow every 10 minutes. Yellow. Yeah, they, they, you drink a yellow thing and then it comes out yellow. Oh. Anyway, it's chaos. So she witnessed me literally walking around the house in diapers. All right. She held my hand. She wiped my brow. She drove me there. She saw me looped up on fucking anesthesia after. She saw all of that and yeah. still fucked me. Yeah. That's high degree of difficulty. Yeah. She saw that and she was like, I'm horny now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I actually scheduled one for tomorrow. I'm going back in. <laughs> She's She's very Chelsea's good. Chelsea's weirdly into it. <laughs> Chelsea's like, baby <laughs> when are you gonna get your colonoscopy done again <laughs> it's like 7 30 she's on her computer i'm like what are you looking at she's like business it's pictures of me inside of my colon <laughs> she's watching colonoscopy before <laughs> that's so crazy that's probably a category it probably, no, probably is. is it probably, it probably is. is no i think it when was... you're with someone for a long time yeah. like, no pun intended shit like that doesn't matter anymore that's true that's true that's true because you know you know their spirit and it's not just about their butthole <laughs> you know yeah 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 and i love i love eating ass mm-hmm. we didn't do that i know <laughs> <laughs> that would be a triple axle triple sal cow that, yeah no, those, those are quads <laughs> right the for quads. sure that would be flying through the air like, the first ever quint the first ever the quint first ever like growing wings and then flying <laughs> across the rink and into space i think that's space. what yeah i'm trying to think it's of like Mars an mission. icarus asshole joke like don't fly too close to the sun <laughs> don't let the heat of the asshole melt your wings <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah icarus licorice licorice. who is icarus's dad who made the wings probably zeus no it was no it was some i i went to school for this actually you went to you did i classics? went to zeus school, zeus school. i went to i did classics nice. yeah it was some man <laughs> i i didn't think it was gonna be a gender queer father <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be a, no, a cape. It was, it was, it was a mortal. Common, it was a mortal. It was like <laughs> Dem, Deminus or something. Oh, that's right. He was like, he made the wings. He was like, an, yeah, he was like a mortal. He was a mere mortal. And he was like, oh, here's the, you can fly. He knows. Alex is raising his hand the whole time. Oh. Go, go <laughs> on, Alex. Please tell me. Uh, Daedalus. De- Why Daedalus. Do you know that? Daedalus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're Greek. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. No, I was a nerd. <laughs> 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 Um, but that was great gay sex. If you're done. Thank you. I am done. And I'm proud. <laughs> Good for you. I'm grateful. I'm grateful that she loves me. Was that no, applause? No, but Kate, you, you deserve that. I'm just, ha- I'm just happy yeah. that we're together. Yeah. That's all. Well, butt plugs. You're going to need one. <laughs> <laughs> what are you working on? What are your handles? Uh, at Andrea Jin on Instagram, on Twitter, Andrea at Andrea Jin underscore. I couldn't get without the underscore. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, <laughs> com is my website. I'll set up a little... It's smart. I'm going to set up an email thing. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mailship. Sign up for the email list, people! Andrea is very funny. And it's, so a, funny. it's original and stylistically very interesting to me can Thank people you. find your set on your website yeah you have a youtube yeah yeah it's on my on my website i have youtube nice. it's linked on my website i also have tiktok um great at andrea nice. jim one i think nice because i couldn't get it again yeah, yeah. they beat me but <laughs> it's fine who's well, the other andrea jim oh some bitch yeah <laughs> i'm gonna kill her i, I don't like the other kids siski there there's yeah. a bunch of ashley gavins but they're like they all go to like iowa state <laughs> <laughs> they're not They're like all comedians there. anyway i highly recommend andrea's uh stand-up so thank yeah you. it's really good thank you and as always please uh, get on to kate's kate sis to check out his tour dates and then also come on guys <laughs> i say it every fucking week <laughs> there are hundreds of that yeah thank you alex look you little piece of shit <laughs> i'm only i'm never gonna sell your data you're signed up for alerts from target okay I just want to email or text you once a year. You're going to get entered for prizes too. Once a year. Just let me tell you, hey, I'm in Phoenix, you piece of shit. 
That's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to bother you. Why are you so hesitant <laughs> to help a creator out? Why? Why? Why are you like this? You're a lazy piece of shit. You will give your email. You're going to J. Crew. Oh, do you want us to email your receipt? And you say yes. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to sell that data. They're going to email you nine times a year about sweaters. I'm going to email you one time. I will never. Yeah. Yeah. I'm angry. We're mad. <laughs> The camera's flying. <laughs> shake it. Shake it with my rage. We are mad that you are not signed up for my fucking email list. I can see just the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> We're done and it's your fucking fault. <laughs> Patreon.com slash WHS for bonus. <laughs> Yay. Gay thought today, a lot of people write in after coming to some of my tour shows saying, oh, I've never been in a room with that many queer people before, you know, because some of these shows, there's like 400 people, almost everybody's queer. And a lot of people write in and they say it was so cool just to even be in that space with all those queer people. And I was thinking about it and I was like, did I ever feel that way? You know what I mean? And the closest thing that I have to that feeling was when I was at a women's college or even all girls camp, not because everyone was queer, but because of the absence of gender being this defining thing, you know, the boys versus the girls. And it was just a bunch of people um, existing in this space. It was such a freeing place to be able to come out and just exist how I wanted to exist. And I feel like in my own life, those were the environments where I felt like I could be my my full self, even at a young age. You know, summer camp just made it so easy without boys being there, and I'm using boys in this like incredibly loose way, you know, I'm sure there were plenty of non-binary, oh, hi Fulton, plenty of non-binary people there and trans men, but being in that type of environment, yeah, you just feel so free, and I'm just curious, besides queer events, write in, what are the places where you felt like, oh, my sexuality or my gender doesn't matter as much here, and so I can just fully be myself. Yeah, it's fascinating because that's like where I first kind of did stand up comedy for the first time at like campfire at camp. And I, I felt like I could just really be funny the way I wanted to be funny. It's so funny how gender and sexuality plays into that and felt inhibiting to me when I was in the closet. Like I couldn't be that full person. Um, and then the absence of those things, even though I hadn't come out, I, I still felt so free. Just a little, just a little, your gay thought today. Just a gay thought today. And uh, yeah, you want some bonus content? Patreon.com slash WHGS. This was an ad-free episode for you. I hope you enjoyed it, but also we need your money. <laughs> All right, have a great week, guys. <laughs>